The Colfax Performing Arts Center is only days away from hosting chorus production of the musical Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, directed by Trish Gardner with technical direction from Pam Hodges. We caught up with Trish to find the inspiration behind the show. I think that people from all age groups can relate to this show. Either they have read it, or if they're in my age group, uh, a little bit older, they know the 70s version of the movie, which was Gene Wilder, or if they're Colfax High School students, then they know the Johnny Depp version. And it's just something that I thought that all ages could relate to. On the technical side of the show, construction team leader Aaron Vieira and lighting designer Hunter Schott will transform the stage into a magical world of Wonka, and it took a dedicated team to make it happen. Uh, one of the things I'm most proud of is the um, overall teamwork within the uh, set teams. Uh, we, just because we've had a lot of projects going on and there's a lot of people, so there's um, just a lot of like confusion and kind of cluster, and it's uh, just I'm really proud of the teamwork that's been going on so we can run through it fluidly. One thing that I'm most proud of is we're going to be flying in a lot of um, objects and stuff. So we have golden tickets um, hanging and suspended. So those are pretty cool. And then we also have an elevator coming down and up. For the seniors and the cast and crew, this will be their last show and it is not lost on a hunter shot. One thing that gets me excited while doing this work is I've been in tech theater for all four, term, or all four years of my high school career. So um, coming back and doing all of the lighting and sound and stuff is just always fun for me. The cast and crew of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory have been working hard and have dedicated countless hours to bring this production to life. CTV sat down with actor and costume designer Callie Janess to get her behind the curtain insights about the upcoming musical. I think my favorite part is all of the bright colors and the happy songs and just the fun story it tells of how to be a good person and not be a total jerk. <laughs> with so many interesting characters like Veruca Salt, played by Janest. CTV wanted to know who Callie related to. Oh, I definitely relate to Willy Wonka. He's definitely a pretty funny guy, and I think like ha having like the fun he does, and but also kind of teaching these really nasty kids their lessons about how to be better people, and just kind of having a lot of fun and having such a big impact on the world with candy. <laughs> Beyond a great story, Callie is energized about the experience for the audience. They should be looking forward to the really fun, happy songs and our amazing props and candy, lots and lots of candy, and just getting to see all, these, all the hard work all these kids, the tech kids, and the actors have put into this show. I'm really excited. As Willy Wonka said himself, time is a precious thing, never waste it. So make your plans now to join the cast and crew of Willy Wonka on March 28th in the Colfax Performing Arts Center for this fun-filled musical. Reporting for CTV with Jaden Toro, Giovanni Perry, Jacob Brown, I'm Spencer Hall. Thank <laughs> you.